Televisions weren't always flat, sleek, and lightweight. Decades ago, they were bulky boxes with tiny screens and antennas sticking out like insect legs. The first TV sets had massive glass tubes that took up half the space in a living room. But today, LED TVs are so thin, you can hang them like a picture on the wall. But have you ever thought about how these modern LED TVs are actually made? How do factories turn glass, circuits, and pixels into the stunning displays we watch every day? Stay tuned because today we're uncovering the entire process, from raw materials to the screen lighting up in your home. Step 1. Designing the LED TV Every LED TV starts as an idea. Engineers and designers work together to create a TV that is stylish, thin, and packed with modern technology. They sketch different designs, test materials, and ensure the TV is lightweight yet strong. One of the biggest challenges is balancing size and durability. Modern TVs are ultra-thin, yet they need to be tough enough to survive bumps during shipping and setup. The design team also decides where to place buttons, speakers, and ports for easy access. A prototype is created and tested for screen brightness, energy efficiency, and durability. This phase ensures the TV meets all industry standards before mass production begins. Once everything is approved, the factory gets ready to build the TV at a large scale. Step 2. Making the LED Display Panel The display is the heart of any LED TV. It's where the colors, brightness, and sharp details come to life. The process starts with a large sheet of glass, which is cut into smaller pieces to become individual screens. A special layer of liquid crystals is applied to each panel. These crystals control the light and color output, helping to produce sharp and vibrant images. Next, the LED backlight is added. These tiny LED lights sit behind or around the screen providing the brightness needed for the display. Fun fact, LED TVs use much less power than older LCD and plasma TVs, making them more energy efficient. After the screen is tested for defects, it moves to the next step, creating the TV's brain. Step 3. Creating the circuit boards Every TV needs a brain, a powerful circuit board that processes images, sound, and commands from the remote. This board is small but packed with powerful microchips that control how the TV works. The process starts with a thin sheet of fiberglass. Tiny pathways are printed on it using copper, allowing electricity to flow between the components. Next, resistors, capacitors, and microchips are placed onto the board. These parts help process signals, adjust colors, and handle smart features. Robotic arms assemble these parts with extreme precision, making sure every chip is perfectly positioned. If even one connection is faulty, the entire TV won't work. After a round of rigorous testing, the circuit board is ready to be installed inside the TV. Step 4. Assembling the TV Frame and Body Now it's time to build the TV's body. The frame is usually made from high-quality plastic or lightweight aluminum, keeping it strong and durable. This is where all the essential parts, the screen, circuit board, and LED backlight, are placed inside the frame. The back panel is also installed, providing protection and ventilation to prevent overheating. Another important part, the ports and connectors, HDMI, USB, power inputs, and headphone jacks are carefully installed in the right spots. Engineers test each port to make sure it works properly and is easy to access when you set up your TV at home. Once the TV body is fully assembled, it moves to the next stage, bringing sound to life. Step 5. Installing the speakers A great picture isn't enough, you need great sound too. That's why every LED TV has built-in speakers. Unlike old boxy TVs, modern LED TVs use thin, lightweight speakers that deliver clear and powerful audio. Engineers carefully place the speakers inside the TV frame, ensuring they don't interfere with the screen. Some TVs even have AI-powered audio that adjusts sound based on what you're watching. 
Have you ever noticed that movie dialogues sound clearer or background music feels more immersive? That's because modern TVs use advanced sound technology to enhance audio. For those who want even bigger sound, modern TVs support Bluetooth and HDMI ARC, allowing easy connection to soundbars and home theater systems. Step 6. Adding the power supply. <laughs> A TV needs electricity to work, but not all power is the same. The power supply inside a TV has a special job. It takes electricity from your home and converts it into the right voltage for the TV's components. The power board is carefully installed and connected to the circuit board. This part ensures the LED backlights, speakers, and processors get the exact amount of power they need. Too much or too little power could cause damage. To keep the TV safe, built-in fuses and regulators are added to prevent overheating or electrical surges. Some high-end TVs even have energy-saving modes to reduce power consumption while keeping the screen bright and clear. Step 7. Software Installation and Smart Features Modern LED TVs are more than just screens, they're smart devices. After the hardware is built, it's time to install the operating system and smart features. Most smart TVs today run on Android TV, WebOS, Roku, or Samsung's Tizen OS. These systems allow users to stream Netflix, YouTube, and other apps without needing extra devices. During this step, engineers upload the TV's firmware, a special software that controls everything from Wi-Fi connectivity to remote functions. The TV is also programmed to recognize voice commands if it has AI assistance like Google Assistant or Alexa. Once the software is installed, the TV is almost ready for the final stage, testing. Step 8. Testing and Quality Control Before a TV reaches a customer, it must pass multiple quality tests. Each TV is turned on and checked for brightness, colors, and dead pixels. A robot rapidly tests the buttons, remote sensors, and Wi-Fi connectivity. The speakers are tested by playing different sounds to ensure clear audio quality. Even the ports and HDMI connections are checked to make sure they work perfectly. Some premium TVs go through darkroom testing, where engineers check how well the screen performs in different lighting conditions. If the TV passes all the tests, it gets the final approval for packaging. If any issue is found, the TV is sent back for repairs. Step 9. Packaging and Shipping Once the TV passes all quality tests, it's time for packaging. The TV is placed in a shockproof box with protective foam, keeping it safe during shipping. Factories use automated conveyor belts to wrap and pack each TV quickly. Some brands are now using eco-friendly packaging, reducing plastic waste, and making boxes 100% recyclable. After packaging, the TVs are stacked onto pallets and shipped to warehouses, stores, and online customers worldwide. Fun fact, some high-end TVs are shipped in wooden crates to prevent damage during long-distance transportation. And just like that, the TV is ready to be set up in your home. Step 10. Setting up in your home. Once the TV arrives at your doorstep, the final step is setting it up. The TV is carefully unboxed, the stand or wall mount is installed, and it's plugged into power. The first time you turn on your TV, it goes through a setup process where you choose your Wi-Fi, language, and streaming apps. Most smart TVs today offer voice control, allowing you to operate the TV hands-free. After a few minutes of setup, your LED TV is ready to bring your favorite shows, movies, and games to life. Behind every screen, there's an incredible journey of technology, precision, and innovation. Crazy to think how much goes into making a TV, right? Next time you turn yours on, you'll know the science behind every pixel. If you found this interesting, hit like and drop a comment on what surprised you most. See you in the next one.